Hello and welcome back Growth Masters. Today we're talking about a topic that's at the core of every successful entrepreneur's journey, discipline. Whether you're just starting your business or you've been in the game for a while, discipline is the key that opens the door to your growth, to your expansion, and taking things to the next level. And let's be real. Discipline isn't just a word. It is your lifestyle. It's the glue that holds everything together when things get tough. And we know how tough things can get, right? Okay, let's get into it. You see, discipline is what turns good intentions into real action. It's easy for us to dream really big, to set those lofty goals, and to talk about where we want to be tomorrow, next week, even next month, or even in a year's time, or maybe even in five years. But without discipline, those dreams are just going to remain what? You're right, dreams. So, how do we cultivate that? How do we, as entrepreneurs, build a disciplined mindset that leads to our consistent growth? Well, today I'm going to share three strategies that have made a huge difference in my journey and the journeys of so many other entrepreneurs that I've worked with and probably entrepreneurs that you that you are associated with. So let's talk about them. Number one, you have to embrace a routine. But in that routine, you have to have and stay flexible. Now, I know that you have heard the word routine. How many times? I'm sure you've heard many, many coaches talk about routines. And you're already feeling suffocated, <laughs> you're feeling trapped. But here's the thing, routine isn't or doesn't have to feel or be rigid. It's about setting yourself up for success. It's about creating a structure that supports your energy, your creativity, and your productivity. Let's say that again. It supports your energy, your creativity, and your productivity. Starting with a morning routine, whatever that may be, it's a routine that energizes you, whether it's a 10 minute meditation, a brisk walk, or journaling, or cal. cal or calendar airing your intentions for that day. The point is, is that you have a habit that puts you right into the correct mindset every morning. So I get up, I get my bang because that's the first thing that I have to do for you. It may be your coffee. You may meditate. I go out for a walk with my dog. My dog has to do his thing, but while I'm walking with him, I'm doing my walking. And then I come back into the house and I may sit and relax for a minute. I look at my calendar. I know what I've got to do for the day. And then that sets me up for the right mindset of what I need to know and the mindset that I need to be in for the rest of the day, which number one, it's got to be a positive mindset, but I know what my next steps are going to be. Do I need to listen to what type of music? Do I need to listen to a certain type of podcast, a book, or whatever while I'm getting ready for the day? You. Hopefully, 
have some other type of morning routine, writing your goals down. But here's the twist. There are emergencies that happen in your day, my day, so you have to be flexible. When I am at my mom and dad's for the week, which I am now, my week or my mornings don't always start that way. I have to adjust that routine. I'm not able to get my bang and then go for my walk first thing. It's adjusted just a little bit. I have to get my bang, take care of my dad's needs, then go for my walk. And my walk on the days that I'm here is a little bit shorter than when I'm back home in Little Rock. Because now that my dad has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, I can't stay gone as long because he forgets that I'm gone. So my routine has to be flexible. Life happens. Kids get sick. Clients call with emergencies. The key is, is that you want to keep your eye on your prize and adapt without losing your focus or your momentum. There's other things, other routines that happen once I get to my desk. What are the first things that I do when I get to my desk? The same for you. When I close down at the end of the day, I have another routine. So discipline yourself. And I am finding that as I'm finding efficiencies and setting up more technologies, that I am creating additional disciplines in my day. So when, again, when I'm here, my day Oh my gosh, does life happen when I'm here? I just got through sending my family a text because as we've been setting up uh, hospice here, we have been inundated with guests today. And I just got through sending a text to my family saying, I haven't got squat done today. So what's going to happen this evening? I'm going to have to rearrange, but I'm going to have to be disciplined to get the things done that I needed to get done today. Just like I did one other night this week, I worked till, since I didn't get anything done during the day, I worked till 1130 when it was quiet and everybody else was asleep. There are certain things that you have to do and you have to be disciplined to get those things done so that you can stay focused and have the momentum and the drive to accomplish what you're set out to accomplish. Number two, master the art of saying no. I can't tell you how many entrepreneurs that I see burning out because they're trying to be everything to everyone. Here's the truth. I was there once. I was there in corporate for sure. Not every opportunity is your opportunity. Discipline means knowing what to say no to so that you can say yes to the things that truly align with your goals and your values. You can't be a yes ma'am, a, a yes man or a yes ma'am, <laughs> as I was saying, to everything that comes along. You have to know when to say no. When you are loaded down and can't fit it all in, you have to know when to say no. What are the things that drives your business to your end goal? And if it's not driving to the end goal, then the answer is no. I've said to you before, excuse me, that when my plate is overloaded, I have to come back and evaluate those things that are the most critical that gets me to where I'm going. And the things that aren't aligned, I have to go back and say, we are not in alignment and this has to go. It may be that it comes back into an alignment at some other point in time and I pick it back up. But if it's not in alignment, say no. Think of your energy and your time like your bank account. You only have so much to spend. 
you have 50,000 in your bank account, you only have 50,000 to spend. You have 5,000 in your bank account, you only have 5,000 to spend. Be intentional about where you invest that money. Be intentional about where you spend that time. Ask yourself, does this serve my growth? Does this move me closer to my vision? Does this move me closer to my end goal? If it's not an astounding or a resounding yes, then the answer is no. And that is not being selfish. That is being very strategic. Number three, set micro goals and celebrate your wins. It's so easy to get lost in this overarching big picture. To focus so much on the end game that you forget the importance of your journey. I've really started doing this. I remember a time that I hit the goal and then it's like, great, what's next? Great, what's next? No, celebrate it. Do something. Discipline is built in the small moments, the micro goals, the daily wins. Break those down. Break those, those massive goals into bite-sized, manageable pieces and focus on what you can achieve today, this week, and even in the next hour. And when you hit those, celebrate them. Do something. Give yourself a high five. Give yourself a little happy dance. Break, break dance if you, if you need to. Whatever makes you feel accomplished, go get a massage. I've been doing that a little bit more lately. This isn't just a feel good moment. It's about training your brain to recognize and reward the progress that you're making. Put it on social media. You've had a massive win. Progress breeds more progress. And progress trains your mind to go for more progress. It's a beautiful cycle that feeds your discipline muscle. I want to give you some closing thoughts and a call to action. Discipline, it's not about being perfect. Not at all. It's about being consistent in everything that you do. It's about showing up day after day, even when you don't feel like it. When the odds seem against you, it's about showing up. And I can tell you every other week, every other week, I sometimes feel like the odds are against me, but I know that I have to stay consistent. I sometimes say, come heck or high water, I'm doing this because discipline is the bridge between where you are and where you want to be. And without it, you're not going to get there. You're not going to get there. If you're looking for more strategies, more insights, ways to elevate your game, reach out to me. Join Influence and Growth Mastery Facebook group where ambitious entrepreneurs like you connect, share, grow together. Head over there and hit the join button and let's build this community of growth driven entrepreneurs. I have a desire to grow my audience. I'll be honest, it's not growing like I want it to, but it won't be the same today as it is next month, as it is the following month, as it is the following month, because I am staying consistent and we're going to see the growth after growth after growth that consistency and discipline brings. And until next week, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Stay consistent. Keep growing. Keep pushing. And remember, you got this. Bye.